Today we're going to solve linear systems by graphing. In example one, they ask us to use the graph to solve the system. All it means when we're using a graph to solve a system is to say where do the two lines intersect. So usually they'll just give you two equations and you will have to tell where they intersect. But in this example, they actually graphed it for you and to solve the system, we just say the point of intersection. And in this example, we have this line, 3x minus 2y equals 5, and this line, x plus 2y equals 7, and we see that they intersect at the point 3, 2. So our answer is just 3, 2. Our answer is an x-y coordinate that works for both equations because both equations go through the point 3, 2. In this example here, there is no other point that is on both lines except for the point 3, 2. It is on both lines. That is where they intersect. In this example, they haven't graphed it for us, so we're going to have to do that. Remember, there's two methods to graph. You could put it in y equals mx plus b form and graph like we have. Or, if it's already in standard form, it's easier to use the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. So I'm going to use that method. Um, you can choose whichever one you like. I'm just going to call this the first equation and this the second so that you can follow my work. So the x-intercept for the first equation is where does this hit the x-axis? I want to know x equals when I get rid of the y, when I cover up that y. So minus x plus 0, that's x-intercept. We let y equal 0. So negative x plus 0 equals negative 7. Negative x equals negative 7. Divide by negative 1. x equals 7. So we can graph that as our x-intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Remember, that's a point seven zero. And then our y-intercept we just go ahead and let our x equal 0. You can just put your finger on top of the x. So you get 0 plus y equals negative 7, or y equals negative 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So again, this is the point 0, negative 7. And so then, just going to use a ruler. It's important that you use a ruler for this exercise, otherwise you won't find the intersection points. That's my equation for, and I'm just going to label that 1, because that was what I labeled 1. I'm going to do the same thing for my second equation. So I have the x-intercept. Just put your hand over the y, and you just get x equals negative 8, so that means the point is negative 8, 0, which is over here. And then to get the y-intercept, I just put my hand over the x and I get 4y equals negative 8, divide by 4, divide by 4, y equals negative 2. So that point, my y-intercept is 0, negative 2. Okay, so plot that and then I use my ruler again. And you can see that they intersect. I'm a little teensy bit off, but all of these are going to have nice answers, so you can just know that. And this would be my solution, this point here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 3.
So my answer is for negative 3. Solve this linear system by graphing. Well, last time since I put it, I did the x-intercepts and y-intercepts, this time I'm going to put it in y equals mx plus b form, just so we use both methods. Remember that I need to first get y on a side all by itself, so I'm going to get this 5x over to the other side. y equals 5x. So I just start, remember that's plus 0, so I would start at 0, and then I go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 1. Use your ruler. So that's your first equation. And then our second one. 5x plus y equals 10. You need the y on a side all by itself, so get this 5x on the other side. Alright, so I start at 10, go up 10, and then I go down 5 over 1. Remember, I always go right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. Oh, look at that. There's my answer. Just went over the same point twice. So my answer is this point right here, which was 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my answer is the point 1, 5. solve this linear system by graphing. I'm going to go and use my x-intercepts and y-intercepts because that's really my preferred way when my equations are in standard form. It's a bit easier, a bit less work. To get the x-intercept, put your hand over the y. You want just x. You get x equals 5. For the y-intercept, put your hand over the x because you want just y. You have a minus y equals 5 divide by negative 1, and you get y equals negative 5. So this point is 5, 0, and this is the point 0, negative 5. Go ahead and graph them. Then draw your line. Number 2 x-intercept, you need just the x, so you have 3x equals 3, x equals 1, so that's the point 1, 0. And your y-intercept, go ahead and stick your hand on top of the x, and you get y equals 3, so that's the point 0, 3. Where do these two intersect? Right there. And the point is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So 2, negative 3 is my answer. And that's it.